Let's talk about importing, exporting, and the asset store. When we make assets in Unity, we're not just locked to only having them in our world. We can actually export these to be imported into other people's worlds, the share assets, meaning that we also have access to tons of sources of pre-made assets that we can just import into our own projects. You see I've changed my scene a little bit. I've taken this ramp that I built before and then I've placed the ball over it. The idea being that I'm just testing out the idea of having a little bit of a launching point for this object at the start. Now clearly I'm nowhere near any gameplay, but we're just practicing getting used to Unity. And that gives the ball some momentum before it hits the top of this mountain. Maybe this is a launcher for some kind of a thing that's going to collide with the players. I'm not sure, but at least we have it in place. And what I want to do is be able to share with other people this ramp. Let's just pretend that it's a complex object that will take a while to make, and another group wants to borrow it for their use case, which is also totally appropriate as long as you give credit when you do so. In my project, I can go under the Assets tab, and I go down to Export Package, and I'll see that there's some options of things that I can export. I can deselect or actually select any of the assets I want to be exported. And maybe I just want it to be that ramp. So I'll take everything else off, including the terrain, so that it's just the ramp itself that's going to be exported. And when I press export, I'll see a menu that I can use to export my content and save it somewhere. From here, I can just give the file this creates to somebody else, and they'll be able to pull it, import it into their project through a similar place, the asset import package. Or you can just drag and drop it into your world. However, Rather than sharing files between ourselves, what we'll likely do much more often is click on this third tab at the top called the Asset Store. And this is a place where we can go and find free as well as expensive assets that we can get. You'll see some of some really high quality stuff in here. And as you grow as a developer, you may end up deciding that you want to actually purchase assets because it'll save you enough time that it's worth it. Awesome. However, in this course, you'll never be expected to purchase any assets. That doesn't mean we can't borrow some, however. I want to see if I can't find some other ramp type objects to test. So I'm just going to search for ramp. And I notice that right away there's some, a ramp brush, some stunt ramps costing some money, some wooden ramps costing some money. How do I make it so that I only see free options? Well, as I scroll down, pricing on the right, I can grab this right slider and bring it all the way down to free. And in here, it looks like there's actually not that many options for free ramps. Well, this looks like it is some kind of rampish kind of stuff. Let, let me just try this out. So I'm going to download it. You'll need to be uh, logged in to be able to do this. You should have logged in through the Unity Hub. And when I press import, it's going to take a little bit depending on how big the package is. And then once it's ready, it's going to show me all the objects that are in this package that I can just click import. And it'll do the importing automatically for me. And once it's done, hopefully this one goes nice and quick. It's going to take a little bit of time to import and kind of unpackage all this stuff, we should see it appearing on our materials list. There will be times in this course where we'll provide you with resource packages in our Microsoft Teams drives so that you can import them to have a kind of a framework to build your project on top of. And now when I look in here, what I can see is this digital construct package has a bunch of prototype resources. And in here, I have materials, meshes, prefabs, and textures. Let's just look at the prefabs for now. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Let's see, maybe I want to actually have a, well, here's the ramp that I was looking for in the first place. So the idea of a prefab, a prefabricated object, I pull it in here and check this out. I have this ramp in the world and I'm just gonna rotate this around so that it's kind of in the better position here. Nice, maybe back one notch, wonderful. And this ramp is clearly too small for my purposes that I'm using for the other one. So let me just make this quite a bit bigger and get this over here. And actually I'm gonna grab this information and what I'm gonna do is just take the X, copy it over, the Y, copy it over, and the Z, copy it over, and move it into the spot where this other ramp was. I'm gonna take this ramp, I'm gonna disable it, and then I'm going to scale this one up to be quite a bit bigger, slide it back, maybe down a little bit. And then to make sure it's working with physics, just double check that I have a collider. It looks like it came with one. Awesome. Let's run and see if this worked. And the ball hits this new ramp and rolls down. Maybe this fits my design better. 
Simple objects like this, maybe you just want to make them yourself, but you can see how in the long run, much more complex things you can get put into your world. And depending on our project, we'll have different levels of expectation for how much you create yourself and how much you're allowed to just borrow from the asset store or other online sources. So there you go. Now you've seen how you can import external assets into your projects.